Okay, everyone. So today we are going to discuss the next type of topology, that is the star topology. To make you understand about the star topology, I am taking one example. While well, we know that in our uh, early books, or maybe when we was in the tenth standard, we make a star. So we guys know that we make such type of figure. So that we say it is the star normally. But in terms of computer, how can we say it is a star? Obviously, if some number of systems are connected, let us suppose that this is computer C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, and C6. So means six computers are connected in such a manner. But we know that. it is not a twisted pair cable that we are going to join it like this and these computers are not the bulbs that we are just taking all the bulbs wires and twist them that is impossible so the kind of diagram we are making is the logical diagram it is not the proper diagram so the interconnecting here this way is not possible because these are the ethernet cables it is not a twisted pair cable so that means there should be some kind of device which is connecting all these six computer so i am modifying this diagram and putting that device so now i am adding one device now this device is more logical and we can see that now six computers are connected with a particular device and if i make this diagram then we know that the same diagrams we are making from very first day let us suppose that i am putting all the computers at the proper position wherever they are c1 is there there is c2 and there is c6 i am giving the resemblance of the previous diagram to telling you the concept and c4 is here and there is c3 now we know that there is no access device exist where the we can connect everywhere so let us suppose c1 is connected here c6 connected here it is connecting here so c3 is connected here and c4 is so these are the ports now we can say that this device we are learning from very first day and this device we know that is the hub uh, So now we can easily say that the diagram we are learning from very first day is the diagram of the star topology and if i make the proper diagram which is present in so many books then this is the hub and in the hub we know that let us suppose six ports are there and then from that we are going to take out the computers so that means now we can easily say that the hub is the representation of the star topology even it is not the hub if you want to take the switch that is perfectly okay so both are perfect so c1 c2 c3 c4 c5 and c6 so this diagram we have derived from the star so we have started with the star and derived this diagram so we have proved that this diagram is the representation of the star because sometimes in our mind we are having the confusion it is not looking like a star so how it can be a star topology but we have proved this thing that it is a star topology now we are discussing few important points of the star topology and the first one is it use central hub central hub means it is in the center we can see that hub is placed as the center of all the computer to connect all stations now you can say the stations or the computers both are the same thing station computer nodes anywhere you are saying that represent the computer now second thing is the routing decision is taken care by hub so routing decision made by hub the meaning is that let us suppose one computer c1 want to send the data to c6 in that case from where the route will be decided that will be taken care by hub so we are having the hub 
we are having no worries if somebody from outside want to send the data to some specific computer no worries hub is going to ta take that decision or we can say that hub is acting like a exchange so hub act as exchange exchange in terms of i am telling the telephonic exchange where we are sending the data from one computer to another right because in the telephone exchange we are having the mobiles so one mobile is communicating with another similarly in the hub we can send the data from c1 to c6 so hub we can say that it is a exchange and one very important thing about the hub is it is the point to point point to point means i can elaborate that it is from station to hub there is a connection between station and hub directly that's why we are saying it is the point to point so c1 is directly connected with the hub it is not connected with all the computers so if c1 is communicating one to one we can say that it is point to point communication now we are going to discuss about the advantages of the hub now if i talk about the advantage the very first advantage is the low cost we can also say that it is the less expensive well obviously we can see that there are only six wires which are present into the hub in between computer and the hub so it is very less expensive it is not like the mesh topology remember one thing whenever we are learning any other topology we are comparing them with the mesh topology obviously because mesh topology is a standard where we have used all the wires now less expensive in terms of what in terms of the wires now obviously the less cabling is there because we are going to use the less cable so less cabling as compared to mesh topology if the less cables are there it is easy to maintain so easy maintenance and if it is looking very easy obviously the fault tolerance will be very easy for sure but yes there is one more important thing the failure of one terminal i am talking about the computer failure of one terminal not effect other terminal now remember one thing here i am talking about the computer if let us suppose that c1 computer is not working then there is no problem in the communication because c2 c3 c4 c5 and c6 all computers are still working with the help of the hub so network will not break so these are the advantages so now we are learning the disadvantages if i talk about the disadvantage of this particular star topology and there is very big disadvantage that let us suppose hub is not working then whole network will fail so that means whole network is dependent on the center point that is the hub so we can say that it is the one single point failure and that one single point failure is the hub so if hub is not working then everybody is not working so network will fail or we can also write like this failure of central hub effect all terminal means if the hub is not working all terminals will stop working so all terminals are now not working if i revise the star topology then we can see that we have taken the hub and it is dependent upon the single component that is the hub and if that hub is going to fail the network will fail otherwise if one system is not working the complete system will work and it is a point to point communication because that is the communication between computer and the hub so that is all about the star topology